to a long season like that. It's always good to play a bunch of guys early, and uh, and so you can have fresh legs second half of the season. So as many guys as we can get to, we will. How many test balls are you guys going to catch between now and Saturday? You know, that's a, that's that's normal for us. That's that's a habit that we uh, will do every day, and we'll do it off season. They've been doing it off season since we got here, so. That's nothing new to them, and it probably drags on a little bit, but it helps them, helps them catch the ball better. Give me some kind of numbers to get a feel as to how much work you're putting in. You know, I don't know. That's a good question. I, next time you come around, ask me. I'll have a figure for you. But it's, it's in the hundreds. Every, the, every day? Every day, it's uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty close to that, yeah. Does it make the hand stronger? Is it the hand-eye coordination? Is it all the above? Yeah, it's all the above. You know, it's harder to catch a tennis ball at a rapid pace than it is a football, but it also uh, it, it makes you concentrate more, and the speed of it. Uh, one after the other after the other, you can you can you can get a lot more balls caught in a minimum amount of time. So in five minutes, they can catch a lot more balls than they could have than they could have judge machine or anything like that. I'm sorry, how fast is it? It depends on who they are. You know, as they as, they, uh, as the more experience they get, the closer they get to it, and we'll speed it up even even more. So we'll we'll max it out as fast as they can handle. What's the max that, that you could do on that machine? Good question. I don't know. Good question. <laughs> I'm striking out. Fast, fast. Yeah, lots of reps is what we're going for. Lots of reps. They cut. You know, right there, they just caught uh, before and after practice alone. They probably caught right around 100 balls each, uh, in a matter in a matter of less than three to five minutes. Wow. Okay. That helps a lot. So that's that's what the goal is: is a lot of catches without having to wear out somebody's arm or, or take away from their time. How do you see uh, Demarco's development? Good. Demarco's developed develop very well. I'm proud of where he's at, and, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do this Saturday. I think he's ready. Mm -hmm. what, what does uh, the specific challenges of that his size against the SEC team? Yeah, Schedule. he's got to be quick off the ball. They're going to try to get their hands on him, and, and uh, that's natural for, for a guy like that. And they're going to try to beat him up and, you know, when the ball's in there a little bit. And, and so we've got to, he's got to use a good technique, and he's got to, got to get off the ball and beat him, beat, him, beat him to the punch. Do you worry about a guy's endurance when he's that size? That his endurance is not an issue. He's not, in shape. Not endurance, but it's, I guess fragility. Well, with good technique, you know, that's what he's got to overcome. You know, everybody's got issues with it, but nobody's perfect out there. And so right. they've got to they've got to be defensive of what they're not great at, and they've got to recognize what that is, number one, and number two, uh, guard against it. Can you want to explain the basic concept of the area of the offense? Well, I think I think it's um, I think it's taking a football field and, and spacing it out as wide as you can and, and ha throwing it to, many, to as many weapons as you possibly can in different areas, mm -hmm. and so that there's not one thing they can pinpoint on. And uh, that's what we try to do best. And then and then you add in playing fast. I think you know Neil Brown's uh, his his curveball too. It's playing as fast as we can, spread <laughs> the field as wide as we can, and and, uh, and 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 throw and catch it well and execute what we're doing. Because of the pace, does that mean you have to substitute more? Yeah, the pace of the game, we're going to play a bunch of snaps. You know, and, and he'll be the first to tell you we want to average over 75 snaps a game. The last three years uh, in his offense, I believe it's all three, he's, he's led the country or been second all three years. And so, you know, you'll wear out some legs if you don't watch it. So we need help. You know, even early in the season, you got to rotate in and rotate out. And, and uh, you know, we got to be smart about his coaching staff and not wear guys out.